Okay, you guys, so as promised, what we're going to do is uh, go ahead and uh, for each angle that you see here below, we're going to find the reference angle and we're going to draw the corresponding right triangle. So again, this is what I want to see from you guys whenever you're referring to the right triangle definition. So 125, well, what do we know about 125? It's definitely past 90, so we are, are basically in quad 2. Now again, you don't have to be exact, all right, but if I was drawing this guy right here, right, we'd have 125 degrees, probably about right there, right? So there's 125 degrees, and its terminal side sitting right there, all right? And so a corresponding right triangle for this would be right there, right? So we have a negative x value, we have a positive y value, and we have r, right, for that representative, again, it's a representative right triangle, um, so the, the uh, adjacent. And the again, the reference angle is sitting right there, right? The reference angle is always between, all right, the terminal side and the x-axis. If I had to calculate it, right, I'd probably use that formula right there. My theta star, my, my reference angle is 180 minus the 125 I've got. And I think we end up with 55 degrees so we basically have a 55 degree reference. Okay, so uh, again, the idea, um, uh, we have to be careful, right, because earlier I said the sine of theta is the same as the sine of uh, theta star, but this is why that picture is important, right, because this is in relation to that picture. Right? There's no way that I'll tell you that the sine of 125, right, um, and the sine of 55 are, in all cases is equal, all right, so be very aware of that. So. Again, if we knew the x and the y's and the r's on this terminal side, we can actually find the sine of 125 by considering its reference angle. All right, so that's how we do that. But uh, from here on out, so I won't waste too much time, let's just concentrate on the reference angle and its corresponding picture. So 235, all right, where's 235? Well, this is in quad three. And so if I'm drawing a picture of this guy, all right, um, we're gonna go 180. And then we're going to go a little bit more, I think, uh, past 35 and 20, right? So we're going to go about right into there, right? So there is a picture of theta. Where's the corresponding right triangle? It's right here. It's got a negative x, right? There's theta star, right? So there's the reference. It's always between the terminal side and the x-axis. Its adjacent will be a negative x. Its opposite will be a negative y. And of course, we always have R there, right? So um, maybe I should use the new language, adjacent, opposite, hypotenuse. All right, as far as what theta star is, right, since I'm on quad three, I'm gonna use this guy. So it's my angle, 235 minus 180. And I think um, it is also equal to 55. So sorry about that. Right? I didn't mean to, uh, to uh, use the same one, but hopefully you get the idea, all right? So again, the sine and cosine and tangent in this area would be equal, right, to the reference angle to this corresponding picture, all right? Uh, so I'm not gonna say that sine of 235 is equal to the sine of 55, right? There's the reference angle. That's why I'm making you guys draw the picture behind that reference angle, all right? Uh, very, very important, okay? So uh, that's why I want you drawing pictures. 350, well, this is in quad four, right? So it's in a quad four picture, 350 is really, really close, right? It's gonna get us really close to almost a full rotation, right? So there's basically 350 degrees, right? There's our theta. Where's theta star, right? Well, the reference angle is always between the terminal side and the x-axis, so there it is there. Representative right triangle, have it in red. Right, so here's the adjacent, it's equal to x. The opposite is negative y, and the hypotenuse is still r. Right, and so, uh, and the reference angle itself, let me use that formula. The reference angle is 360 minus 350, so our reference angle is 10 degrees in that quadrant. Again, if we were evaluating sine, cosine, or tangent, I could use, right, that 10 degrees with that picture behind it. Not the 10 degrees in quad one, not the 55 degrees in quad one, right? Not the 55 degrees here in quad one. We're talking about the reference angle of 55 in quad two, the reference angle picture in quad three, and the reference angle picture in quad four. So that's why that, you know, I can say these kind of things as long as I have a picture behind it telling me that, yeah, they, they have to be equal.
All right. Um, so sine of 30, uh, uh, 32, uh, what's nice about this, this is quad one. Um, if I did draw a picture of this, right, 32 degrees takes us to about right there. There's your 32. And it turns out that it's basically its own reference, right, because it's already the terminal side in the x-axis. So in quad one, theta and theta star are basically the same. So you're essentially your own, your own reference, which shouldn't be any surprise. Okay, uh, now the next challenge, uh, we have negative 120, all right, and um, uh, it's in, we know from just a picture wise, when I am drawing negative 120, right, we're got, we have a negative rotation, right, and that's taken to me to about right there, right, so there is negative 120 degrees. So we are sitting in quad number three. However, if you go try to find, well, let me finish this off in terms of a picture, right, uh, the reference angle is sitting right here, right, it's always between the terminal side and the x-axis, so my representative right triangle will be here, right, the adjacent would be negative x, the opposite would be negative y, and the hypotenuse would be r, right, so negative x, negative y, and r respectively, so there we have but if I tried finding the reference angle using the formula, right, I'm going to get a little stuck, right, because, you know, if I tried using that formula straight out, we'd have a negative minus a negative, I'm going to get more negative. And I don't know if you've seen this, let me point it out, since we're always between the terminal side and the x-axis, this guy is always going to be an acute angle. So we have a problem already with using my formula. So let me back it up a little bit and let you guys know that this formula is only work if our theta is between 0 and 360 or essentially in one rotation. So how do we work around this problem here? Well, two ways. You either draw a picture and you can see that if I went 120, right, how much further would I have to go? Well, I'd have to go 60 degrees more, right? So my theta star looks like it's 60. Right? Or another route you can do is you can basically, right, let me change colors here as I get really crazy, right? You could actually find, right, the co terminal angle to this, right, rotated in that fashion. And if I did that, right, we're now talking, this is going to get pretty crazy. Sorry, I'm changing all kinds of colors. So basically, let me ro uh, take 360 minus 120, right, and that gives me 240 degrees. And now, right, I could use this. Right, so what's my theta star? It's 240 minus 180, and lo and behold, there's your 60 degrees. So unfortunately, right, it took me a while to finally get there, right? All these formulas, all this good stuff only works for a nice solid rotation. To find your reference angle for something that's not in that first rotation, you're either going to have to just, like I said, just kind of um, picture it as you draw your picture. I've rotated to 120. I know if I continue, this is 180. Right, and so how much more rotation? Oh, I need a 60 degree rotation. So there's my reference angle. Or you can take advantage of the coterminality, find the, in this case, the uh, smallest positive coterminal angle, and then use the formula. So whatever you want to do there works. Either way, make sure you're drawing a picture of the situation. And then 855, clearly, right, this is way out of this league. So how about we dial, uh, dial it back a notch? I know uh, 360 and 360 is 720. So let's take two rotations out of this. So 855, right, minus 720. And I think when you do the math here, we get a 5. 5 take away 2 is 3. 8 take away 7 is 1. So basically, right, this is coterminal to 135 degrees. So now this tells me that 855, right, is 1, 2, right and then about 135 right there so it is coterminal right so there's 855 degrees right which is coterminal to 135 degrees right and now I can either use my formula or right uh, just keep rotating right so there's my represented right triangle I have a negative X I have a Y I have an R that's the adjacent the opposite and the hypotenuse and then what is theta star exactly well, we went there when we rotated so far 135. So if I go a little bit more, it looks like it's 45. Or since I now have a coterminal angle, right, that fits the first rotation, I can just use oops, I can just basically use 
this formula right there, right? My theta star is 180 minus the 135, which also gives you 45. All right, so hopefully that kind of gets you thinking about that. Again, uh, you've watched me do it. Um, I actually didn't do it here, right? Representative right triangle, positive X, positive Y and R. All right, so when you guys are doing this, uh, when you're using a right triangle definition, another reminder, please, please, please make sure you're drawing a corresponding right triangle, all right? Because that's going to help you with all the ratios that you need to find the trig values. And we're actually going to see that in the next video. All right, so I'll see you guys then.